welcome to Matt's Model Shop. I'm at Modelpalooza in Orlando, and I've just set up the refit and the Millennium Falcon fine molds. And people are still coming in and setting up. Um, later on, I will do a full viewing of all the models that are here, but yeah, this should be an interesting weekend. Looking forward to seeing what's for sale and chatting with people about models. So, more later.
favorites. This is the Cygnus. This is scratch built and 3D printed. And it's amazing. The detail in it is astounding. So much research went into this thing that uh, it's just crazy. He knows every single part of this ship. And interestingly, the mounts here are just a larger scale of the of the towers, <laughs> which is pretty neat. Um, and if you want to learn more about it, it's a study in insanity. <laughs> but yeah, this was one of my favorites. I also loved this uh, Galileo here. Um, and they put the interior in. The lights aren't on right now, and I don't want to turn it on because it's not my kit, but... Um, this prompted me to pick up the interior kit. I have the the actual kit for the Galileo, but I don't have the interior kit, so I purchased one. They had one at the show, um, and I'm planning to build that because this is just a neat, neat model. Look how cool that is. So I also really liked uh, this Romulan Warbird. Um, they drilled out all the windows on it, and it is also lit. It's a very, very cool... Um, set up here. I really liked it. The The person who builds these, these are all built by the same person and all of these were lit um, over here. So, and most of them have interiors. It's just, uh, it's been very cool to see. We also have to represent with the, uh, the one that started it all right there. There's our uh, 1650 Enterprise and this one's done up real nice. Looks really good. They did a nice job on it. Very, very, uh, very well done. I also like the Saturn V in front of it. <laughs> it's a pretty neat, pretty neat model as well. This is the MPC um, AT-AT. And uh, I actually kind of like the size. It's bigger than the Bandai. Gives it a little more gravitas. But not too, it's not too big though. I mean, you know, but it's still, you know, pretty decent. Uh, Pretty decent size overall. They did a nice job on the weathering. Made it look a little beat up. And then we have the cute little 11,000 bird of prey, <laughs> which is pretty neat too. I really like this one as well. Nice detailing on the wings. I thought that was pretty well done. I loved this uh, uh, bo uh, Mandalorian here. Uh, because it has fiber optics and you can barely see them, you can barely make them out, but that's where the, the little whistling bird missiles come jumping out. And I really liked that, that little touch. That was really neat. I also loved this little tiny Mandalorian figure walking here. <laughs> and of course the Bandai Boba Fett. I have that kit and I built it, but mine's just standing there. I should pose them up, make them look cool like that. Cause that's pretty cool. I loved this Michael Myers too. <laughs> that's pretty neat. People have a lot of talent. I also love this. That's the Bandai 1144th uh, Millennium Falcon and then couple of TIE Fighters, First Order TIE Fighters chasing it in a diorama. I thought that was pretty neat. I actually, I did build this kit. It's actually a really nice model. And not too expensive. A lot of detail in it for how small it is. And because I'm a huge Walt Disney World nerd and fan since I live here, I thought this was cool. This is directly from Pirates of the Caribbean on the ride. And uh, somebody built this up. I thought it was pretty neat. Here we are again. They actually lit them up again so we can look again properly. Um, but I look at that. That's cool. Good job. It's just really neat. Just love some of these interiors. A lot of effort, a lot of time. 
That'd be some time with the pin vise right there. I have a friend who's a BSG fan, I love that. So this is the guy who won best of show right here. Someone in sci-fi actually got best in show for the, for the show. That was absolutely awesome. And he did an amazing job. The detail on this thing is great. He did a good job. Very, very cool. So I felt it was a good idea to put him in the video. Nicely done. And look at that. Enterprise got a silver. <laughs> That's not too bad for my first shot. So congrats to the Enterprise. Hooray. So I had a great time at Model Palooza and now I'm gonna go home and we will look at what I grabbed. All the new kits and plastic goodness. So back in a moment. And this is the pile of kits that I picked up at the model show. Pretty good stash, huh? So I'm just going to go through and show what I got. First of all, my wife has a real interest in airplanes. So I was able to pick up a Boeing 747 model kit from 1982, which uh, is actually pretty cool. It's in uh, 1 one forty fourth scale, and he threw in a 1 2 44th. 727 with it. So we thought that was pretty cool. So that was the first one. Um, the model that was in there that had the Galileo with the interior, I really liked that and I, I don't have the interior. So um, I did find one while I was there and picked it up. So I'll be putting that into my Galileo when I build it. So very, very cool. Someone had a monogram USS Voyager um, they had it marked at 30, I got it for 25, and it's complete, looks great, and um, I've already got this kit in the standard Revell, but having a second one doesn't hurt. I got the Runabout, brand new, this is the old AMT pop of it, so um, this one will be built one of these years on the channel. After watching Deep Space Nine, I thought it was kind of an interesting craft and I thought it would be worth building so here we are got a Bandai Y-Wing I've been wanting this one forever and um, for a while it wasn't available and then um, people were price gouging on it um, I picked this one up for 40 which is kind of the going rate so um, got that one picked up the new 132 TIE Fighter. Um, that one is very, very cool. Jason at uh, Jason's Model Shop just built this. And um, it's a fantastic kit. So this one will definitely be get, uh, being built. I can't wait for this one. This is a very, very cool model. And I got a 172 Space Shuttle. Um, this is the just the Orbiter. Um, living in Florida, I've we've got uh, Atlantis down the road at Kennedy Space Center, and I've always wanted a nice big space shuttle in the collection. So here it is. I'm planning to get as much aftermarket stuff as I can to make pretty this thing up. So um, that one will be get, being built at some point as well. Um, and last of the boxed models is this guy, this tank. So I am not an armor person. However, I won the raffle. Um, this kit cost me the princely sum of one dollar, <laughs> and it's actually really nice. I opened it up, and the and the model itself looks fantastic. So I'm really thinking about you know trying my hand at it and see what I can do with it. But um, yeah, not something I would normally buy, and I'm not even sure I've seen one of these things in reality. But here we are. So. We'll see what we do with it. I'm not sure at the moment. And the very last one is this bag one here. This is actually the old Galileo shuttlecraft. 
Um, this was given to me by one of the exhibitors on his, on his when he was uh, closing up. He um, was going to have to take it home, and nobody showed any interest. And I said, oh, look, it's the uh, Galileo. I haven't seen one of these in the wild in forever. And he said, well, here you go. <laughs> so I got it for free. Um, the box was damaged in uh, in a flood that or a flooding in, uh, thing that he had his um, AC flooded and destroyed a bunch of model kit boxes. So this one it's complete. Um, the decal sheet is is um, no longer any good. So I'll have to order one from Jerry. Jerry has replacements at HDA Model Works. So um, yeah, that'll be kind of an interesting little build. I'm thinking about building it um, when I do the the new um, round two version. So. Well, we'll see how that goes, but anyway, that is what I got. I got a nice big chunky pile. So will I get all of these built by next year? Doubtful, but maybe a one or two of them. We'll have to see. So anyway, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the uh, video and all of the goings on at Model Palooza. I had a great time and I can't wait for next year. I'm going to go, I'm going to make this a yearly thing. So um, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time.